earlier this evening I was almost in tears again because it was just burning and there was just so much pressure. Day three. Three days since my surgery. Flashback, or flashback, oh my gosh, I'm, fast forward to, um, eight hours later, I had my procedure done, and everything went well, um, Dr. Rubin was wonderful, I just remember the anesthesiologist saying, okay, Mackenzie, you're about to get 25 beers here, and then I was out like a light. <laughs> So everything went great and I'm just in our Airbnb, had some dinner and stuff, I had lunch earlier and then got dinner and we've just been door dashing stuff to our room, just applying an ice pack. Um, this is not the best ice pack, but I did not pack ice packs with me. I probably should have brought my ice packs from home because I have the, you know, little gel bead ones that I bought for my surgery but um i just was like oh, i probably won't need them i don't know why i thought that but it's not a really big deal because our airbnb had some ice packs so you know it's doing the job but i did bring my donut pillow and i sat on it for the first time in the um uber on the way home from the surgery center trying to take it easy i'm watching bridgerton had some mac and cheese and um now i'm drinking a milkshake i had to pee immediately like when i was waking up from recovery i was in recovery for like close to two hours um it was like an hour and a half and um i don't remember what i said in that first hour because i don't have no memory i don't really want to know when i finally started coming to and gaining memory back, um, I had to pee so bad. Like, and that's a big thing. They want you to pee before you leave. So, um, that was good that I had to go. But they're pumping you full of fluids. So, I was like, I have got to go. Like, nurse, help. <laughs> I have to pee. So, I went pee. Um, yeah. But I, I'm not in any pain. No discomfort. I feel great like you know um, I don't really feel that swollen but you know I'm icing 20 minutes on 20 minutes off this is a long blurb in regards to logistics for getting home um, I have my donut pillow with me um, I'm getting a wheelchair from the airport um, we're gonna have to chill in the airport for quite a while tomorrow because we have to check out of our Airbnb at 10 a.m. Our flight doesn't leave until 3.30 in the afternoon. So, hopefully I will not be in pain for the flight. I'm going to keep icing. And I'm going to go to bed here soon. And I will talk to you guys in the morning as we start our journey back to Nashville. <laughs> Hello, good morning. Update, um, I woke up about 7 a.m. this morning and I had to go to the bathroom and I was in a lot of pain. It seems that my ex brawl has officially worn off. Um, so for about an hour and a half, I was, it was about on the scale of one to 10, a five or a six, leaning more towards a six. Um, just a lot of pressure. My pelvic floor muscles were so tight that hurt worse than anything because they were sensing pain and even like in my like behind area like those muscles it was so tight it was so so annoying but I took my gabapentin that um, Dr. Rubin prescribed for me I took one of those and I took four Advil um, so I think the gabapentin helped the vaginal region and then the ibuprofen would have helped 
the muscle pain. So, and I just put an ice pack on my tush and in that area as best as I could. And I also used, these were really helpful, the Freedom Mom perennial cooling pad liners with the witch hazel. Definitely get these because they're also going to be good today because we're flying home. We have to sit in the airport for a while. Um, we're checking out of our Airbnb now, um, but I'm not going to be able to have access to ice packs. So having these cooling liners will really, really help. But you know, also if you're in an airport, a restaurant will probably give you a little baggie of ice if you ask them for it. So that's an option too. But we're just figuring it all out. We're packing up. So feeling really good now. My pain went from about a six to now about a one or a two. So we're doing good. So far so good. And Dax here helping me. It's been the longest day um, ever. I am home. I'm in my bed. I'm back in Tennessee. I am so happy. I was a bit nervous because my ex had worn off um, and it didn't even last me a full day. Uh, I don't really know why that is. Um, it's unfortunate, but you just don't know. Um, everybody's body is different. Sometimes it lasts one day. Sometimes it lasts up to three days. That would be amazing, but that's sadly not what happened. Uh, but I had my pain pills with me. When you are traveling, get a wheelchair. Um, Dakota took a really funny picture of me while I was drinking my Starbucks and eating a cheese Danish, and I will put it here. You get the fancy treatment, I'm just saying when you are in the wheelchair um they have wheelchairs all over the airport um as soon as you walk in so we grab one of those you definitely do not want to be walking someone will see you in it who works at the airport and they actually wheel you through the whole airport until you get to your gate so you just zoom past security about the last 30 minutes of the flight when we started descending I started getting a lot of pressure down there and it just started burning and hurting a lot and honestly it was just from too much sitting throughout the whole day. Um, my body had had enough and I needed to get off of my tush. But when I got home I immediately took a sits bath, my first sits bath. Um, you have to take them four times a day. So I took one. I also took a shower just because makes you feel better and you're supposed to shower every day during recovery and um i just started icing it so i will show you what i've got going on right now um i'm wearing underwear um i'm not wearing any pajama bottoms but i am wearing my underwear with um a pad i don't know if i said in this video but i actually started my period the day before surgery so uh it's it's been kind of difficult to monitor the bleeding because honest obviously i'm on my period but um as long as it is not clotting and um it's not an obscene amount of blood you should be fine um better to get it all done at once right i have one of these um directly on my skin so, um, and then the pad underneath that. And then I have my gel bead ice pack, which is not very cold anymore. I'm just going to be in bed. And uh, we had some friends bring us some dinner tonight. And my parents brought me flowers and balloons. And it was just really, really sweet. Um, but yeah, I will keep you guys updated through the week and share all my tips and tricks for getting through this recovery, but I will talk to you all in the morning. Good morning. Um, so, so far this morning has been pretty easy. Um, this technically is the second day after surgery. 
Last night, about midnight, 1 a.m., I woke up in excruciating pain, just intense, throbbing, stabbing, burning, and itching pain. So that's good because that means healing is already begun and is in effect. But it was like that hurting itching. I don't know. It's really, really strange. But I was in tears quite a bit. Um, I was not prescribed hydrocodone um, or any major pain pill for this. But I do have some hydrocodone left over from when I had wisdom teeth removal. So I just think it's better to take those at first um, because you don't want to let time go by and you be in pain. I'm taking gabapentin three times a day, which it does help, but um, these first few days, I think you're going to need, and I'm going to need a pain pill. In bed, I've had a puppy pad here. Um, I haven't gotten anything on it. It's been pretty smooth. Um, I feel the need to wear underwear, like, when I sleep, um, but that could be just because I am on my period. Um, oh no, actually I didn't wear underwear when I slept. Actually, I got that mixed up. I felt better not wearing underwear when I slept, but I feel better wearing it throughout the day because I have to have on a pad and um, I have a witch hazel liner and um, an ice pack. So having underwear on helps keep it all in there. Dakota went to get some food for us to eat this morning. This morning it is Sunday and yeah I got up I took my sits bath and I took a shower, washed my hair, um, feel a lot better now and now I'm just gonna go get something to eat and um, try to just relax. <sighs> and now Dak is helping me unpack and I'm getting ready to do another sits bath. Okay, so what I'm doing for my sits bath is I have it chilling here and all you do is put it in the toilet. It's very glamorous, you know, um, but first you want to actually put some water in it. You can use like a cup or something just of warm water and pour in it and then I take these sits bath tablets from Frida Mom and you just pop one in there and you just chill for like 10 minutes. Um, also have been using this um, Perry bottle when I pee and stuff and that's been helping. Just fill that up with warm water but I have to do these four times a day so it's time to do another one. feel really good so definitely help the pain and the burning day three um, it is currently it is April 4th so well, yeah, technically three days since my surgery. Um, this is about all that I do. Um, pretty much all day. It's about all I can do. I'm in a little pain right now, but I did take a gabapentin. Did my sits bath this morning. Um, I've been up for now almost an hour. But it takes a while to do that stuff. Like, and I'm supposed to shower every day. And Anyway, this is just what I do. I just chill on the couch and um i would highly recommend getting you a little basket like this for all your all your goodies all my meds are in here i'm trying out the perennial cooling foam by freedom mom but i'm not sure about it yet um i think it's basically the same thing but anyway i'm trying that out I'll let you know how that goes and then i have on an ice pack um on the outside of my underwear and i'm just sitting on it, holding it to myself. Um, I have another one of these in the freezer, so when this one gets um, de-thawed, I then go get the other one. That's what I'm doing. Had a good night though last night, and uh, hoping we have a good day today.
Hello, it is currently 1.15 a.m. And um, I figured I would just vlog what's going on. It's the end of day three. It's now day four, technically. But um, I've been trying to get sleep. But another problem from a problem that you can encounter from after the surgery is constipation and um, that's what's currently going on. Um, I started taking some stool softener um, yesterday and um, on day, th on day, I started taking it on day two or three um, because I still hadn't had a bowel movement after the second day. Um, my doctor said that it's normal to not have one, like, before a couple days after surgery because your bowels get really sleepy after anesthesia. But I hadn't had one yet and I hadn't even had the need to go. So, um, I was like, I have to, I better start taking something. So, um, I bought some Miralax for before the surgery. But my mom gave me this. My mom's a nurse, but I will show you what it is. It's lactulose, a little bit stronger of something that you can take that um, takes effect a little quicker than like Miralax or something. Um, and it do you don't have to like mix it in your drink. You just drink it like medicine, you know. Um, so I started taking that and uh, <laughs> it takes a while still to take effect. Um, I mean it does but it doesn't. It makes your tummy rumble for a while and then you just never know when it's going to hit. So um, it hit probably about 30 minutes ago and um, uh, I'm just trying not to strain too hard because um, you know have a million stitches down there so don't want to pop any stitches and um i'm trying to talk quiet because my husband is sleeping and has to get up for work in the morning but um anyway this is just the glamorous life of um recovering from vagina surgery it's so funny it just feels like i've had a baby but there is no baby <laughs> i had to take another pain pill earlier this evening um but that's still helping so that's good um the pain the pain has been worse at night i don't know why um but that's pretty common for like sickness or anything you always feel worse at night and you always feel better during the day so um this is no different but my, I do notice my pain gets considerably worse at night. Like earlier this evening, I was almost in tears again because it was just burning and there was just so much pressure. But it didn't last for long because I took medicine and it's hard to get comfortable too, especially when I sleep. But um, I feel pretty good right now. So I'm going to try to get some more sleep and... Yeah, I will talk to you guys tomorrow on day four. Good morning. It is day four post-op and I just took a shower. And um, I've probably been up on my feet way longer than I should have. Um, but it just takes a while to like do the shower, do the sits bath, wash your hair, dry your hair, all the things. And it just takes me a lot slower these days to do it. So anyway, but I'm getting ready to take my basket. This is like my house purse. Transporting this like from my bed to my, to the sunroom where I'm like staying during the day and sitting and watching TV and stuff. And it's just really easy to grab what I need and then throw it back in the basket. I will give you all an update um, later this afternoon. Um, I did end up going to the bathroom, um, but we still 
that's still a work in progress. So, um, still going to be taking stool softener today and, um, my pain is not that bad right now, but I can tell that since I've been up on my feet, I'm a lot more swollen. Um, I also tried shaving down there. It's actually not that bad. Um, you don't have to go to town in order to get the job done, but um, I just cleaned up shop and is doing pretty good. And um, I'm just really swollen. So I'm gonna go get some ice and sit down. Also, I just wanna show everyone how messy my house is. I mean, it's not terrible. It's just, I hate clutter. I just, I can't stand it. So my husband, he's, he's been so great. He's been helping me and stuff. Um, but you know, it just is what it is. It's a known dreary rainy day here, but you know, it'll get done when it gets done. So, you know, there's only so much you can do when you just had your vagina operated on. Something that I've been doing while I've been sits bathing is reading a book to pass the time because there's a lot of time that I just spend sitting in the bathroom. So I've been reading this book, Escape into Cottagecore. And it's all about embracing coziness in your everyday life. And it's got some really cool pictures and things about gardening, about home, home life, fashion, home, mindfulness, all that kind of stuff. So it's just a fun little coffee table book, but something to read while I'm spending endless amounts of time in a sits bath. This is my outfit these days. It's a big oversized sweatshirt with slippers, um, no pants, um, because it's much more comfortable without them these days. I don't know when I'll wear pants again, um, but these days I've just been wearing no pants or just really baggy sweatpants. So, got my coffee. We are on day, day six today. Um, so far, it's been a good week. Um, the week's almost over. Um, last night when I went to bed, I, it was the first night that I did not take a painkiller. And if you see glaring under my eyes, I have on um, eye, eye gel patches. There we go. <laughs> so they are sparkly and they are fun and, um, you know, puffy eyes in the morning. Um, but yeah, last night was the first night that I didn't take a hydrocodone half of a pill because I was like not in pain, didn't feel like I needed it. And um, uh, so I was trying to go to sleep. I went to sleep kind of late. Um, I've been going to sleep pretty late, waking up later these days. And I just started itching. Oh my gosh, like an itch I've never had before. It was like poison oak, poison ivy kind, but like also with a lot of pressure associated with it. It was super strange. But what I did, I'll show you the product in a second, but I put on the Freedom Mom um, Cooling Witch Hazel Foam, and that was the only thing that helped. I took a gabapentin, but got my coffee, and that's all that matters. <laughs> this is the foam that I was talking about. It's the Freedom Mom Perennial Healing Foam, and it has witch hazel in it. I was kind of like, wondering if I was going to take this back or not because I might, I mean, like, I was like, it has witch hazel in it just like the liners do. And these are amazing. I love these. I'm definitely going to get another pack when I run out, but I was like, do I really need this as well? But this really helps with the itching. Definitely get this. This was the only thing that helped me last night to sleep as my stitches were really starting to itch. Update. Guys, I got a donut pillow. Yay! <laughs> um, 
Yes, I have sent my husband to Target and I got the Freedom Mom one. It's the, um, it has cooling technology in it, so it enables you to not be so hot when you use it. But the reason that I wanted to get it, of course, is because I've been really uncomfortable, like I said, but it also really helps to keep my ice pack conform to my bottom because like I can just wrap it in my legs sorry for like just it's just my leg but um it helps me to keep that ice pack there because you either have to hold it or wear bottoms in order to keep it you know conform to you um but that's just really uncomfortable right now to wear pants so this is just super cozy I'm like everyone needs a body pillow or a pregnancy pillow because they are just this is it's amazing this is the best purchase i've ever made um i highly recommend it so um maybe think about getting a pregnancy pillow if you are having a vestibulectomy hi guys happy um what day is it um happy friday this is officially one week since my surgery seven days and honestly i think it's been a pretty good recovery so far i'm actually pleasantly surprised um i didn't know really what to expect i thought maybe there's gonna be the worst week of my life or maybe it's not gonna be so bad um honestly recovery wise on a scale of one to ten i would say it's probably been about a four or five um it's really not been that bad pain wise i didn't have to take pain medication after like the third or fourth day so other than that it is just really itchy at this point um it is actually so itchy sometimes i feel like i'm going to literally scream it feels like you have poison ivy or poison oak on your hoo-ha so <laughs> pray for me i don't know um what else to do i've been putting i've been putting this on it like i mentioned before this is the only thing that's helped is the freedom mom cooling foam so um hopefully that helps a little more but i actually got some benadryl at walmart and i'm gonna start taking that so you need a little bit of help in the itching department and that's apparently supposed to last for like four or five weeks so um it's currently raining it's a very dreary day but i have on a cozy little sweat suit that i got from target from the stony clover collection and it's so cute it's just adorable so I'm just wearing this, wearing comfy clothes, and um, I'm just in my sunroom where I've been sitting, chilling on the couch for all week. But I'm just doing some light stuff, like just light housework, light. I went out of the house for the first time um, earlier today, and it was a success. Um, sitting on the donut pillow for a long period of time is not the greatest, but it's bearable. So yeah, that this has been though a week in my life recovery edition. My first week of recovery since my vestibulectomy surgery. So thank you guys so much for watching. I didn't know how this week was going to go, but um, hopefully this gives you a little bit of insight and a little bit of know-how for what to expect if you are thinking about getting a vestibulectomy. And um, yeah, thank you for coming along with me this week. And if you like more videos like this, please let me know and I will do more videos about my recovery post-op. But thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you in my next video. Bye.